a luxury estate in the Los Gatos Hills. Two living areas, a guest house, and a pool. Let's go check it out. Susie Cornish here. I'm coming to you from the grounds of 15880 Olna Glen. It is so beautiful. This is a luxury estate. It is listed by Brenda Miller. Thank you so much for having us. Come along and let's take a tour. We're gonna start out on the front lawn of this beautiful estate. Once you drive in, there's a driveway and a path and lawn and formal gardens. And then you come to the gated patio area, which is in keeping with the Spanish style architecture. This home was built in 1941, making it 81 years old this year. However, you will see evidence of it being lovingly restored and modernized throughout. Inside, it's almost impossible to even collect your thoughts about the formal living room because you're instantly magnetized to the view that is available out every window to the back of the property. Connected to the living room is the formal dining room, and both of them have access to the outdoor deck space. But you're still looking at the view. Although you drive up through other houses and you see other houses on the road, you do have neighbors. It's almost impossible to pick one out. And the sky meets the trees, meets the valley. It's absolutely stunning. Here I'm going to show you the cooking wing of the house. First we have the kitchen, and then we go to a mudroom, laundry room, and pantry area that has shelving and access to the outside. Then we see an office, perfect for planning parties and catering. And then we have attached an original tiled bathroom. This leads both back to the office and out to the kitchen suite. We go back into the main cooking area with a nice butcher block island. We get a peek at the butler's pantry, and then we have what we'll call the breakfast dining room, which is adjacent to the formal dining room. And this has glass doors out to the patio. Just off the living room is this marvelous powder bath. It has the original tile, but you're hard-pressed to tell what's the original tile and what is lovingly restored tile bathrooms in this house. Here we have a peek into the technology closet. This lets you know that while the tile work and some of the architecture is old, the house is completely modernized. The primary suite is vast, and it has not only enough room for the bed and a seating area at the foot of the bed, it also has a separate library area with it, including glass doors out to the main deck. On the other side of the primary suite, there is a private deck and glass doors that lead out to that, so you could enjoy a private coffee from there. The closet is cedar lined and a walk-in closet. And the bath is surrounded on three sides by windows. Part of the primary suite bathroom is a dual vanity and a water closet separate room. And then the shower, which is really a focal point. It has this amazing stone surface all the way, including on the ceiling, and it's backlit all the way around. It's almost like an aquarium. Down the sunlit hallway, we come to the first of two bedrooms. These would be kids' bedrooms. It's Jack and Jill combined by one of the most extraordinary bathrooms I have ever seen. So first we have the kids' bedroom, and then we have this 
the original tile kind of milky jade color and instead of hiding it they have featured it more extensively with this dramatic dark background wallpaper that picks up the jade perfectly the door to the shower is more from the art deco period and then all the tile work it's absolutely phenomenal this jack and jill leads to the front of the two bedrooms this one looks out on the front courtyard you can get a feel for just how large this bedroom is because you have two twin beds side by side and still have room for nightstands down a wooden staircase you come to the downstairs area and we kind of start all over again with a beautiful living room and access to a den area of another formal dining area and another kitchen this space would really offer you so much flexibility it could be an in-law suite it could be a kids hangout it could be guest quarters it offers so much possibility and out the back kitchen door i'm gonna pop open the screen and we see the sky meeting the hills and a whole new level of deck and entertaining area downstairs down the hall boasts its own laundry facility as well we come to one bedroom and this bedroom is a gracious size enjoys views to the outside and also has its own ensuite bathroom again bold color choices have been made in the tile and this one appears to be modernized but they have kept the tile in keeping with the style of the house down the hall further and through double doors that you can close you come to a second primary suite in the downstairs this one has views to the outside again and a covered pergola area and it also has a sitting room this room also has a deep walk-in closet already with built-in shelves one of the features of this room as well is a coffered ceiling and these built-in lighted bookcases that frame the bed this room has access to a private patio outside as well. And then we come to the beautiful ensuite bathroom. This ensuite includes a shower, a double vanity, and it goes through and has its own water closet. It appears that the windows in the bathroom have all been modernized and replaced as well. And here is a view to the lovely tiled shower with the towel rack up on the top and again the color choices which are period correct outside we come to a staircase that's going to lead us down to the pool and it is just a magical garden leading through all the trees and again we have the sky meeting the trees in the valley and a view to the house on the left come on down the stairs with me while we're walking, I'm just going to review. This home is seven bedrooms and eight bathrooms, six full and two powder. The main building is 7,348 square feet, and the guest house is another 1,072 square feet. This whole property sits on 6.56 acres. It's 81 years old, and it was built in 1941. And at the end of the DG path, we come to the pool. Not only is there a swimming pool and a hot tub and seating area, but there's a whole nother complex down here. So we have a full kitchen and a bathroom and a laundry room. So that represents everything that you would need to have a lovely time swimming with your friends and family. Back up and outside, I want to walk along the grounds a little bit. This is the primary suite that's enclosed. That bathtub is enclosed in that glass. And then we have more mature plantings. We have calla lilies and hydrangea out here. And I wanna give you a little glimpse at one of the decks and a hot tub tucked into a terrace. On this side of the grounds, we can see the guest house. 
This does enjoy its own gated entrance and its own address. We were not able to get inside and tour it. It was not available on the day that we saw the house. The scroll work and iron gates are just typical of the colonial Spanish architecture. And the rose garden and the lawns are tranquil setting. There are two sets of garage buildings. Both have three doors. The ones that are straight ahead as you pull in are single depth. And then the other set is a double depth. So there is parking available for nine cars in the garage, or you could convert them to be workshop area or anything that suited your family and your needs. Isn't this a fantastic home? It's time to go. If you would like a tour of this house, private, so that you can explore all the spaces that this has to offer, I would be happy to set that up for you. My name is Susan Cornish, and I look forward to being your real estate resource of choice. Please reach out. My number is 415-652-4282.